Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching Sija video. Today we will make this cool star fill or you can say wipe effect for the UI and it's all in opacity if you want to use and there are lots of parameters like color, opacity, stars, lots of parameters. So each and everything you will learn in this material. This is from scratch step by step. And if you got any issue you are not understanding, please comment with the video, comment below the video and also hit subscribe if you really like it thanks let's start this so let's start this so first i need a texture so i will open the photoshop create new canvas 1k it's not 1k let me change the style okay cool so now uh if you have shape in inside custom shape here you can use the star but i don't think i have a star here so i'll just make it quickly and, and very simple so not very perfect star but i'll try my best so i'll just create from here here I will adjust it so this is almost perfect star I will delete this layer control and enter for selection on a new layer I will just fill it okay and then I'll select this and uh, I will just make the stroke of this so maybe 10 outside white you can just use red okay like this and then in inside you can just fill absolute green and why i'm doing it to make it in separate layers so if this is green now you will notice if i merge in the channel i have this separate and this separate because this is green channel this is red channel cool i will just save it on the desktop star and just save now here you can duplicate it multiple times in the texture if you want like one year one year or you can do that in in material by changing the tiling I will import that from the desktop star right click make a material and open this cool so on the planner I want let's use unlit for now and two side so if I connect this here and I want multiple so basically you can just use styling and I want like five on X and now on the Y, I need to scale it. But if you make this Y like two, it will duplicate that. So to avoid that, you can do, you can actually multiply it and then take a frac and a two. So I want to multiply both one, one. But if I increase the X like four, it will duplicate on X. Okay. So what you have to do is to uh, manage this. Let's make it work. I'll take scale UV by center to vector and x i want one and one, y let's make it one for now so now i am using it four times so this should be scaled down four times so that means 0.25 on the y and fixed but the issue is you need to cut it you can make the texture clamp on one axis if you want uh, like you can open this texture you can clamp here also there's option to clamp but if you want a separate axis you can search here clamp 
actually not clamp you need to search the texture actually the wrapping thing yeah this so on the y i want clamp so just save it it will not repeat on the y but on the x if you make the x also clamp it will just make it one so i don't want x to be clamp just y so i have now this cool now what i want i want uh, I want to separate this first so and let's make a gradient and multiply it uh, let's also use opacity mask or maybe translance if you want but I want to just showcase you so we don't need that so you can put the same thing in the opacity also okay so unlit next one lit so what I want is I want to take the green channel from this which is just which is just the inner part the green one okay and then i want to use this gradient if i want the shift c and just the green red channel which is the gradient and i'll take the smooth step and this is black here i want here black that's because i want to erode it from here dissolve it from here so i will invert this first a black will be here then i'll use smooth step and make the minimum maximum user parameter so you will have control minimum and maximum let's add minimum and maximum together so maximum will always be higher than minimum okay and now let's multiply this whole thing with the green channel and let's save it i will make an instance of this see instance and now see what happened with this minimum value i can dissolve it and with the maximum value i can put the gradient the fadeness okay now i want my edges back so i will just add the red channel on it so my edges will always be visible only the inside will fade now like this cool if you want sharpness you can decrease it like zero and you can increase it like this you can distort it little bit for the variation so if you have a texture like uh, i have this blur moist texture and let's say this is the uv for the gradient i i will distort it by adding this noise texture uh, this is actually too small i'll use this one or maybe, yeah and now multiply it and then add and this multiplies the value of distortion using one is full distortion so i will just make a parameter i will call it distort and default value I'll leave the zero and you can also change the tiling so i will just make a parameter here noise style and this will be default one save again and now see so we have this and if i distort it like this increase the tiling maybe this much and now see what happened so i want little distortion i want little fadeness maybe so it's up to you how you want it i'm just showing you or maybe you can just make the one or maybe two see now it's totally random so it's up to you how you do that now i want a different color for it so what i'll do i will multiply this with a color maybe yellow let's make it parameter inside color and for the edge i will multiply this separately with the color 
let's make it parameter edge color and let's make it red for now we will change it later cool let's save it and check it once then i will do something more here so you can see so i will make this also yellowish but a little dark i guess this much okay so now you have this cool now i want little variation in this so what i'll do first thing i will multiply it uh, with the same noise i have so it will not be flat yellow so i will use the same noise and multiply it then multiply it with color so it will have some variation somewhere dark somewhere see now i want little more effect in it so i will search a texture i have star let me show you actually not this one i have another texture let me search yeah this one so it has three channels random star dots so i will just browse this and use it here okay if i preview let's add these all channels so i what i'll do i will add rg and then i'll add b so i will look all the black and white i want more and i want them to randomly moving so my favorite node inside this function open this normal height copy this motion for back wake you copy this close this and paste it here delete this function to use it you need to make your texture an object and then just use it here okay and now to add these you can just break these channels and then add this back okay now you'll see these are all random removing i will add more tiling maybe five five so it will be very dense and i will multiply it to make it brighter maybe 20 and then here what i'll do i will uh, actually add these here you need to add it before it because we are masking it through texture so i will add it here on my gradient yeah and then i'm masking it through this channel let's make a parameter star and make it like 20 connect so we can see how much we need the brightness so i'll just save it again see the stars now we can make them really like this much and see it's all uh, it's all there also we want it before that so what i'll do before adding you need to multiply it with the same gradient so it will mask okay and then add and actually i will multiply here because i want to brighter them before i'm adding hope you understand what i'm doing so here we have these stars i'm multiplying it with the gradient so these are masking out then multiply with the parameter to make them brighter then adding back to that gradient cool so our stars have stars looks cool you can make your noise styling before yeah and you can make gradient more so like it will be like this if you want so it's all up to you so what else you want here you can you can actually add 
uh, you can decrease it and add one layer of the stars that are really bright if you want but i guess that's it and if you want to use alpha because lots of in my lots of tutorials people are commenting how to use alpha how to use transparency so basically here you are using color before the color just add these before the color before the color add these and just connect it to opacity make it translucent and here you can make a parameter also to control the opacity default one and let's save it see now there's opacity you can increase it or decrease it okay it's too much actually this much so now with the opacity and it looks really cool cool so i hope you like this thanks for watching keep learning bye bye